Today the main change is Core Wars Push LTM. It's back after popular demand. Let's see, Core Wars Push. Oh yeah, I guess that is popular in Galaxite. It's back, Core Wars Push. This game mode was originally brought to Galaxite in April 22nd, 2021. Has anything been changed since then? Well, not really, no. And that is kind of disappointing, considering it's been a year, and they're just releasing the same limited time mode they did a year ago. But for those who don't know what Core Wars Push is, let's dive into it a little bit, shall we? Unstable Glass! Now in Core Wars! Great for trolling! <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> it's got PvP! <laughs> you suck! Push the little core around like it's your little brother! <laughs> Upgrade your base defense with walls! <laughs> Push the enemy team's base! Just don't be like this idiot and forget the blocks. And kill the players that rush emeralds! Oh, and uh, grab a few while you're there. Just, just in case, you know. So what are you waiting for? Hop on Core Wars Push today! Available now on Galaxite! So yeah, that's Core Wars Push! It's basically Core Wars, but mega, and instead of breaking one big core, it's just you push it off the side. Though I do personally wish that they would've just done like Mega Treasure Wars does on Hive and just have one big core. I should also probably mention that there's this weird glitch happening where both teams are red and not red and blue like it's supposed to be. This is weird and it didn't happen last time Core Wars Push was out. Apparently Galaxite's all red this season. Another thing that I thought was kind of weird in Core Wars Push is that diamonds and emeralds are on the sides of the map and not in the middle. It feels like they should be in the middle to create more of a battle for them in my opinion. But after thinking about it for a minute, maybe Galaxite just wants you to rush in this game. Maybe they think it's more of a risk if you go to the side and get emeralds. So instead of fighting for things like this, maybe they just want you to take a risk by getting them. Honestly, this game mode plays a little bit more like Bridge than it does Core Wars, because you're just rushing across this huge void. But most people are going to build with unstable glass, so it's kind of cool how the bridge just kind of keeps breaking and people just keep placing it. But I'm glad it's back, and a lot of new players are going to get to try this for the first time. So yeah, go try out Core Wars Push if you haven't. And just a few days before the release of Core Wars Push, Galaxite showed us this. If you've been trying to solve this, you'll know it's pretty annoying. But if you solve these riddles and find the signs, you'll be given a code, which will give you the new gems Galaxite added. You can also earn a title and a skin from doing this. But to save you the time... I'm just going to give you all the codes right here, except for the last one. So if you don't want the codes to be spoiled, skip to this time right here. Alright, here's the first eight codes. Alright, so I understand that a lot of you are probably still stuck on the last code. And you might be like, well Joseph, why don't you just give us the last code? Well, here's the thing. I already did. It's somewhere in the past 30 seconds of this video, so you're going to have to rewind and find it if you haven't found it already. But once you do enter the final code, we get a message saying we want to stand out and change your name color. Nah, but on a serious note, we get a message from Orby saying I've made some furry friends and I'll be there soon, lots to tell you. Oh no, we already have enough furries on Galaxite. But on a serious note, this is probably another hint to pets. Though I don't really know why they would need to tease pets when they've already announced they're going to add them anyway. But hey, at least we know Orby's alive, right? I'll be curious to see where the lore takes us from now. Season 7 will probably be in about another month and a half or so. And we still don't have pets! Where's the pets at? Come on. But yeah, sorry for the lack of uploads. Uh, I've been in Texas, where I saw Longhorns walk down the street. Uh, I've been to a couple conferences and concerts. And a couple of other things as well. And I'm also kind of in the midst of moving, so a lot happening. But hey, if you're going to complain to anybody for not uploading, you should look at this guy. But anyway, that's it for me for now. May God bless you, and have a good one.